What's up guys, it's Mike here with Grow Indoors 365. Today, another update. Today, another update. It is Saturday. I don't know what date it is. Uh, might be like the 22nd, 21st. I wish they had a, um, a date on my camera. That would make things a lot easier. Now, soil things and the hydroponic stuff. If you're new to this channel and you're making your way here the first time, my name is Mike. I am an indoor grower. I grow everything inside my own house. Make sure to subscribe. Make sure to give me the thumbs up if you like the videos. Also, make sure to hit the links down below for everything that I currently use to maintain my own grow. Everything from the tents, the reservoirs, the pump, the pods, the hydrotone, everything. Okay, it's all located down below. Now, I do a weekly update on all my current grow. And today is those is one of those days and everything is looking amazing by the way and the crazy thing is I actually have not given well these things wouldn't get nutrients okay these things would who's this guy <laughs> these things wouldn't get nutrients because they're getting the nutrients that is supported by the soil now if you uh, if again if this is the first time you're here but if you are uh, already part of the family thank you so much for uh, tuning back in Three watermelons. These are looking good, really. Uh, they're growing a little slow, which is interesting. And uh, these three right here, if you guys, um, let me tell you, they're growing in this tent right here. And that is under that uh, LED Mr. Hua light. And that thing is available down below as well. So these three are growing underneath there. Um, got a couple carrots here. This is the first time I am growing carrots. They're looking fantastic. Literally, I mean, the tops look good. I, I don't know the mature date. I think next time, the next go around, I think I will have to keep track of it a little more and predetermine on how long things take in that sense. This way, I know when to pull because I certainly don't want them to get too big. Watermelon, as I mentioned, it's growing a little slow because let me show you what's going on here. When I take you over here and you look at this, let me make that a little brighter. When you look at this, okay, these two are watermelon. Now, last week my cat did get in here and he chewed them up a little bit, but overall, they have they have come back from that <laughs> from that little attack, <laughs> and uh, they're doing pretty good. Honestly, they're growing really well. Now, I have not. I, I don't even think I I might have added minimal nutrients here, so they're growing on just water and oxygen, which is doing freaking awesome. But I did buy my nutrients, and uh, finally, I don't know what took me so long, but I am going to be adding those nutrients probably today or tomorrow. Uh, if you are interested in learning about nutrients and how to add them into your reservoirs, I have videos, back videos for that. Make sure to hit my name down below to take you to the actual channel if you just arrived on this video. And the actual channel has approximately 80 videos of so many different ways of growing, and, uh, you know, I show you everything from A to Z, how to create your own grow, how to create your reservoirs, everything. Now, back to my current grow. Wow, so much excitement today. <laughs> These right here, if you're under, what the heck are those? These are carrots. I am literally growing hydroponic carrots, okay? Now, these three I've already set up for success. Unfortunately, the six in the back are currently doomed to fail. Because, why? Look at this. As you can see at the bottom of these three, they are open, okay? This way the carrots, because carrots grow downward. Not like many other plants that grow upward, okay? Carrots grow downward, in which case, having net pods like that will not work. It just will not work. So, these are doing so well, these three. I am literally going out right now. I'm going to go to Lowe's or Home Depot and find something, maybe some sort of styrofoam -y situation where I could just put them on top I could create something just like this with a hole on top I'll have to take all six of those out and situate them just like this basically this is the rock wool as you see there and it's just kinda like uh, wrapped around the root part of, of each one of these stuffed in there and then it's brought through just like that so as you can see the six in the back there's no way a carrot will be able to grow downward through there okay so what I have to do is um, I have to get a situation. I have to get something just like this to be able to uh, to get them going immediately, literally immediately, because I don't even know the severity. Or I mean, I'm looking at this one right here. 
Look how if we could focus it. Look how thick it's getting. Okay, when it gets too, when it's gonna get too thick, it's gonna be really hard to take it out from the bottom because I try to not lose any of the roots as I'm pulling it out. If you could take a look at the previous video, I'm pulling them out just a little bit, little bit at a time, and um, you know it's pretty, it's pretty difficult. Um, let's keep on cruising. So we have some of this wonderful. Uh, this is orange mint to the guy, that he, to the to my man that keeps commenting that this is not mint and this is some whatever whatever he's saying um, and he's a mint collector I sorry to sorry to say this is orange mint okay I might have mentioned that I might have said this is lemon mint before this is orange mint it is mint okay look at the uh, look at the pigmentation of the actual leaf feel free to uh, Google mint and you will see that this is mint okay and Wow, this, the, the smell is just unbelievable. It really is fantastic. Actually, let me take you down here real quick. Check this out. So this is what I just did with that orange mint. As you can see right there, okay, it's in this little, uh, it's in this little thing right there. And here's how, here's what I do. So you can take a cup, you put it just right on top of that. And the water will suck all the current, you know, kind of like it's soaked into the water. And now it's going to create a nice hot water blend of this orange mint. Let me just take a quick sip. It's nice. I mean, it, it definitely tastes like orange mint. But um, it could definitely use um, a little bit of honey. But that's what I did. I just wanted to show you guys. I literally just cut it. And then I was like, all right, you know what? I had it steeping for like five minutes already. I got, you know, I think I need more in there. I only did like a few snippets, as you can see. There's like a voided area here, and I also took some from this humongous one. Now, as you can see here, I mean, literally, if you could go inside there, there is, there is like a lot of seeds in there. This isn't like one seed that grows so many different, you know, little little plants, little trees. It's, it's. I, I threw like significant amount of season. I mean if we go inside here look at that look how crazy this root system is is that insane that's primarily from the basil look at this I mean I honestly don't know if basil does the same type of um, root system in soil but I mean look at the look at the size of this stem and these are the two clones I swear to God I swear that I think clones actually grow faster healthier and just overall larger than the actual mother plant. It's really, really interesting. I, I want to do a comparison. Um, and it's interesting. So right now, just so you guys know, the comparison in regards to T5 lights and um, and watermelon. I mean, from my from me just looking, okay, I'm seeing a huge difference. I don't know if it's soil. I don't know if it's the light. I don't know if it's hydroponics and T5 lights. I don't know. I'm, I'm help me figure it out. I, I'm trying to figure it out myself. But as of right now, I don't know. But what I'm seeing is, I'm having way bigger growth, way more leaves, and they're a little taller in hydroponics. I mean, this one right here, this one, this one plant right here. Hopefully, it'll focus in for you guys. This one plant, it's looking pretty good, but it's not as large though. No, no. I, I keep going back to that that dirt, and I, I'm hoping to say that it's doing well, but it's doing okay. It looks healthy, but these are nice long leaves. The stems are like kind of like growing further. This is going to be just a like, big vine. You know what I mean? I don't know what to expect, but I'm I'm willing to try to find out. You know, I got a little scraggler of uh, the orange mint right there. Had a leftover and didn't want to just throw it out. Now here, as you can see, there he is. You see that little green guy right there? There he is, he's somewhere over there. I think you see him. That is gonna be a pepper. Okay, that's gonna be a pepper. Oh, got a little gnat there. I'm gonna have to put a little additional dry, dry uh, dirt like somebody uh, suggested, which does work. I'm gonna have to put a little dry soil on top of that. But this is where I am. Oh, and I, I mean, I mentioned to you a little bit about this. This is the orange mint, and these are the these are the basils. Yeah, I mean, they're they're enormous. Like every single day, I literally have to come in here and and rip a, a head off because they just they're just so big. I mean, if you could see right here, you see where it's a little brown. 
on focus in for us see how it's a little brown I, I i i ripped that off and that was probably like three days ago as you can see it would have been up against the ceiling i mean these are these are growing huge like they're like bamboo shoots so very excited stuff going on here i ha i don't even know why but i have no lettuce growing right now i have um this is like my little stash of things right here i got i got three reservoirs that can be used let me see here Oh, there's that Clonex. Make sure to hit the link down below. Clonex, it is the best solution for rapid root growth. Very, very nice. I got three there. Okay, so I think I could do one here and two there. Of course, that's my original setup. Uh, three across each tier. Um, yeah, you know what? Probably this upcoming week. It's probably not going to be ready for next week, but maybe today I could set up three variations of lettuce. We'll get one variation up here and two variations here. Actually, no, that's the problem. Now I realized, well, actually, that's not a problem. I could probably do two variations here because these watermelons will definitely not be this far ahead in the next 40 days. I presume to get something real, this is going to be like probably 90 plus days. I don't even know. We'll have to see, but what I was saying is if I put two reservoirs here and I start growing my, um, my lettuce, lettuce takes about full maturity, 35 to 40 days. I like to eat them younger because they're just, when they get a little older and way too large, they just get a little more bitter. And, um, you know, as soon as they're there, it, you might as well just start eating it because, unless that's exactly all you consume. Um, you know, you could go through it pretty quickly. So I'll probably end up setting up two. And I don't know what I'm going to do with that guy with the pepper. I think I can manage it all. I could probably put the pepper somewhere on top of the reservoir here and kind of just manage it for a little bit. I don't want to take it from the T5 light and then transfer it over to the LED light because that's just kind of, it'll, it, you know, it's, it's kind of, it'll mess with its head. But so much more to come, guys. I have, um, I've been really reading some information, like cool information in regards to light spectrums and how plants are, you know, eating and what's really required and what's not required. And I got some cool news up ahead and hopefully I can transition it into my videos and explain it well for you guys to understand and how can we, uh, you know, continue growing as a YouTube community of indoor growers. Um, make sure to hit the link down below also for the Facebook page. Uh, if you, if somebody is very familiar with Facebook, please message me. Please direct message me and help me out. Um, I don't know if I created the correct page because I want people to be able to post on my page, and I'm not certain if I have that capability. There's something about fan pages and business pages. I have no idea. If you are familiar with it, please, 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 uh, somewhere on this video, somewhere I think you could like message me. Or even leave the information down in the comments. Just let me know if I did something correctly. But the link for the Facebook page will be like the, one of the first comments. I'll actually comment on the video myself saying uh, here, here's the Facebook page. Um, if you can just go check it out. But I want, you know, the whole thing about the Facebook page, I want people to be able to post. I want to see pictures of your grow. I want to see pictures of your setup because I, I want to I do cooler things. This is just like regular reservoirs. You know, I have so many crazy ideas. I want to do one of those, like, um, NTS systems. Okay, an FTF system is cool, but what if you could create a super cool-looking FTF system that will, like, go on a wall and display, like, beautifully and just, you know, it's, like, for nice modern homes. But that's just, like, you know, something that I thought of. But I'm going to be building an NTF system. If you don't know what that is, go ahead and Google it or, um, you know, YouTube it, and you'll see it's very cool. It's just kind of like circulating water using less water and less nutrients and potentially growing more around a small perimeter. So this is it, guys. I hope you have a fantastic weekend. It's just a start. Today is Saturday. Hope you enjoy your Sunday, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye.